This one seemed... Now we're back to the live shot. There is Challenger sitting on that concrete strip. As you recall, um, it was just last July 4th when Columbia landed on that concrete strip. The president uh, was out there with a great welcoming ceremony, and that's when Challenger first flew back to the Cape to get processed for this mission. It took a lot longer than anybody expected, particularly with that uh, two-and-a-half-month delay because of the engines. But, boy, Challenger certainly has proven it is part of the fleet. Gene Cernan, I thank you for bringing this one home safely, too. Lynn, it was uh, a privilege and uh, certainly a lot of fun doing so. Thank you. And thank you. It's nice to have Challenger back, and we are looking forward to the next event of the Space Shuttle program. That should happen sometime in June when STS-7 goes up, and that will be the first American woman, Sally Ride, to fly as an astronaut. For Jules Bergman in Houston, for Michael Coates, an astronaut who helped us out, for Gene Cernan and myself, uh, here at Edwards Air Force Base, thank you all very much. We'll have more on the shuttle, including comments from the astronauts when they come out of the orbiter, later this evening on the ABC News Weekend Report. Challenger flights stay with ABC News to follow the progress of America's space shuttle missions. Live coverage of today's space shuttle landing has been a special events presentation of ABC News. It's correct orbit on this flight. Well, that's a problem because this inertial upper stage is going to be used not only to boost the tracking and data relay stations up that we got to put up, but it's also going to be the workhorse for a lot of future satellites. So we have to sort that problem out and get that working with a high level of confidence before we commit Tedris uh, B to, to the next, uh, to flight A. Tedris, tracking, relay, and data? Satellite. Satellite. Okay, we've got that, and we'll be back with more on the return of the Challenger after this. The shuttle astronauts are still on board their ship, but there are lots of men in funny suits walking <laughs> around that Challenger, Leo. There's a lot of funny fluids on board that ship. That's why they have the funny suits on until they're sure it's safe. But the crew inside are going through the switch list, safing ever all the systems, and they'll be getting out shortly. And uh, we uh, hasten to add that everything looks good, and the men are safe and sound aboard the Challenger. The Challenger is back on Earth, a successful completion of its first visit to space. The astronauts will remain on board for a while yet, and we'll have more coverage on the return of the Challenger on the CBS Evening News a bit later on. My thanks to my co-pilot here, Leo Krupp. A good job as usual, Leo. I'm Morton Dean, CBS News, Edwards Air Force Base, California. <laughs>